So much to do here in Rochester. You got your traffic, you got ribs, you got golf, and you get your comedy. Comedian Mark Price is in town, uh, a familiar face, best known as Skippy from Family Ties, and also joined by Joe Cashnow, an Iraq War veteran turned comedian. Uh, they are performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. Here with us first, also, we Chico. have a Ch Chico, 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 Chico. Yeah, very excited about television, Chico. Yeah, no. Is he telling any jokes? No. <laughs> he, he does a juggling act. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. You gotta see and, that. And there's um, some false advertising. <laughs> He's a little um, hack, though. Yeah. It's all dogs and cats. <laughs> Welcome. So good to have both of you here. Thank you. Uh, we gotta say, this is, is exciting because many of us, we watched Family Ties and. So good to see you. Thank you so much. Good and to be back in my beloved Rochester, which... Uh, yeah, you love it here. I, I mean, started you've... my first headlining gig ever was here back in the day. Yeah. The first comedy club in Rochester back in those days. And, and I hear you come back often to visit. You might I as well do. just get a little apartment here or something. I lucked out with the weather this time, though. Yeah. I know it might uh, head we just heard, but uh, so far it's been beautiful. I think that's here to stay for a while. It's always like this, by the way, Joe. Uh, by the way, in the, in the comedy business, we're the only ones that don't want good weather, right? Because people come to the club, yeah. if, they're, if they go to the barbecue, they that don't come to the sense. club. That makes sense. That makes sense. So we're doing a rain dance, but that's, <laughs> you don't have to know that. How did you guys connect? Well, we have a mutual friend that was one of the producers of Joe's movie, which is called Comedy Warriors Healing Through Humor. And that was featured on Netflix, right? That was on Netflix. It was on Showtime for about a year. It's a story of five traumatically injured vets that learned how to do stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. We worked with Louis Black, Bob Saget, Zach Galifianakis, B.J. Novak, um, and we worked with some writers to, to help hone our material. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a really, really cool project, a really exciting project. A good, a good experience for you. It was a very good experience. It's, it's very uplifting, healing through humor. Mm -hmm. Still kind of miffed. They rejected my tagline, which was come out and laugh at the handicapped. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how, if I should laugh at that. It wouldn't work on the poster. It wouldn't work yeah, on the poster. It, it was too many words. Too, that was the problem. Too many words. And so... Did um, they choose, do you mind if I ask, did they choose yeah. you guys because you already had a great sense of humor? They had us um, submit uh, something about our, yeah. our jokes, and so yeah. we were all selected to be part of it. Yeah. It, so it, they, all, they were already funny, is my guess. I'm yeah. sure. But that was a, a form of healing for you. Oh, absolutely. Where, where, what kind of, you know, where do you go with your, your routine? Uh, well, I talk about my military injury. I talk about uh, a little bit about what it's like to be an amputee. Um, I, I, more standard comedy. I, yeah. I, I got a divorce, so that's become a big part of my material. Yeah. Isn't that kids. funny? Um, it, it, it can be, I guess, at oh, times. Oh, it's hysterical. I lost $70,000. <laughs> oh, well, if you're not laughing, you're crying, right? <laughs> Spending all my money. <laughs> yeah, and they all went to the attorney, which is fantastic. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Right. Does, does Chico make an appearance on stage? Chico makes an appearance on stage. Um, he, he comes with me. He's supposed to just sit down and do what he's doing now. Yeah. I've never been married. That's why I still have all my hair. <laughs> um, for you... You did acting, you, you do, you're doing comedy. I mean, was that always kind of part of your plan? My dad was a comedian. Yeah. So I followed in his footsteps. We're both poor decision makers. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have taught me real estate. <laughs> but I really am uh, grateful to him. He was an old timer. He was on the Ed Sullivan Show. Wow. He was on the radio in the 40s, worked with Sammy Davis Jr., Lenny Bruce, all these amazing names. Wow, the classics, and, uh, right? And he showed me comedy clubs before there were any. Mm -hmm. He pointed me in that direction. That's why I was ready for Rochester when they opened theirs. And yeah. I've been in the, the comedy club business ever since, yeah. Yeah, so do you draw a lot on your experience as a, a child actor in your routine? Unfortunately, I don't draw a lot at all. That's why there's very few people that show. Oh, wait a minute, no. I draw a lot on growing up in Hollywood, yeah, and being a former child actor. And, uh, what was you know, that so like much. for you? Well, it was uh, it was definitely uh, good for me. I, a lot of child actors, you know, they're not so lucky. I'm very fortunate. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had to do any humiliating reality TV. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I take humiliating well, gigs like yet. Rochester. <laughs> Wait a second, wait a minute. He threw some shade at us. No. I can't pick love. on too many people. I got Rochester uh, yeah, and Screech. That's the only things I can pick on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, so you got two shows tonight? Or no, it's one, one show, show because it's Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. We're cutting back. We're doing one show tonight okay. and one show tomorrow. And last night we did military and vets in for free, and yeah. we had some of the guys there, and that was really special. And there yeah. is a special, right? If people take bring their tickets from the PGA, right, yeah. you'll get the second ticket free. free. So there you go. Leave golfing and get some comedy. Comedy at the Carlson. We've got more with Mark and Joe when we come back. If you find golf exciting, you'll like this. <laughs> <laughs>